Hello, and welcome back to Coin Lady Channel. And here we are, on yet another lovely day, discussing XRP. The good news is that we have something very exciting to tell you today. The XRP cloud merely provides us with XRP price predictions for the future of 2024. I never thought he'd do this. Many other companies operating inside the Web3 ecosystem have recently announced their plans for the future year through their executives. American blockchain payments company Ripple is no exception, despite Ripple Labs' assertion that it sought executive input on the topic of Bitcoin regulation, the outlook remains unchanged. The firm's chief legal officer, Stuart Alder Brody, made three of the first forecasts. As a legal professional, I was not surprised to hear that the coming year's outlook on cryptocurrency legislation and regulation in the US was crucial to the overall perspective. It was originally predicted that the United States Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC, ill-advised litigation would be finally settled in 2024. For Ripple Labs, 2024 was a watershed year since it marked the resolution of the most contentious aspect of the lawsuit the firm had brought against the regulator. Although the Securities and Exchange Commission's SEC campaign to regulate the sector through enforcement will continue against other industry heavyweights, the last stage of the SEC's misguided litigation against Ripple will soon conclude. Judge Torres's ruling that XRP is not a security as a whole was announced in July of 2023 and Ripple occurred on December 15 of that year, 2023. Her denial of the securities regulator's request for an interlocutory appeal confirmed this finding. Conversely, by asserting that Ripple Labs had violated securities laws in offering XRP to institutional investors, she conceded victory to the regulator. Things that still need fixing by 2024, despite Ripple Labs, continued independence from interference from the General Counsel of Congress and Ripple Labs operations. The settlement pertaining to this portion of the lawsuit already states that the Commission will continue to regulate other industry leaders in the coming year through enforcement strategies. Along with these anticipations, Ripple Labs General Counsel also predicted that American judges will serve as the last line of defense against the SEC's abuse of power. Much like its argument against grayscale investments and the fact that it failed miserably, he anticipated that important cases would be brought before the court and that the regulating body would continue to fail. He even predicted that some of these cases would be sent to the highest court in the nation, the Supreme Court. A last forecast made by the Ripple Lab CEO was that next year, congressional interference will be increasingly prominent. He asserts that. Although they may disagree on the best course of action, lawmakers will agree on the need to regulate cryptocurrencies. While participants in other parts of the world will keep making great progress, he noted that this situation will cause Bitcoin enterprises in the US to come to a confusing halt. Coinbase Global, Inc.'s application for Bitcoin rulemaking has been formally denied by the US Securities and Exchange Commission. After 18 months of thinking about it, this is the decision. A promising turn of events has occurred, as the trading platform's chief legal officer, Paul Gruel, has hinted at intentions to appeal the response. Coinbase plans to use the X app to engage in a battle to the finish. Paul Gruel voiced his disappointment with the SEC's response to its regulation request. When the market regulator failed to respond after several months of silence, the exchange proceeded to sue the market regulator. Finally, the Third Circuit Court ruled in favor of the financial exchange leaving the cryptocurrency trading platform with no alternative but to take this drastic step. According to the letter issued earlier today, the corporation has requested regulatory clarity, and the Securities and Exchange Commission is secondarily compelled to provide it with a report outlining its stance. There were three main reasons why the request was denied by the Securities and Exchange Commission. The fact that the current securities rules are applicable to cryptocurrencies is one of these causes. Another is that the SEC uses rulemaking to handle the crypto securities markets. Lastly, the importance of commission discretion in determining its own rulemaking priorities is another reason. This is not Paul Rule's position, as he pointed out, no rational person looking into the cryptocurrency industry can say that the current regulations are clear and that nothing more needs to be done. The girl brought up the hearing before the Chancellor in 2021 
when Gary stated that there are no applicable regulations governing cryptocurrency. After keeping mum for 18 months while challenging the SEC's refusal to fulfill its responsibilities, Coinbase finally took the matter to court today, and the SEC denied the company's requests for Bitcoin regulations. We shall be returning to the Third Circuit later today to request their assistance once more. We appreciate the help from the Third Circuit. CF Tech, the head of the Commodity Futures Trading Commission, said that most tokens were subject to commodities law because of his position. However, Coinbase chief legal officer did not specify when the company plans to file its appeal. Further perplexity within the cryptocurrency industry due to the Securities and Exchange Commission's contradictory positions, members of the cryptocurrency industry are presently beset with considerable uncertainty. While the CFDCC makes decisions regarding the best way to categorize Bitcoin assets, it's helpful to have certain rules to follow so that you know which ones are securities and which ones are commodities. Unfortunately, at this moment, neither the SEC nor the CFTC are prepared to provide this information. Notably, experts in the field, like XRP holders lawyer John Deaton, think that the SEC chairman is manifestly trying to deceive the American people by classifying the cryptocurrency ecosystem in a way that doesn't make sense. Members of the XRP community have been advised to safeguard their personal cryptocurrency holdings. Reason being, dishonest people and scam artists are out in full force trying to take money from everyone and everything they can. Starting in early September, Evernote, a Layer 2 platform that sits atop the XRP ledger, announced an airdrop for XRP holders. By November, they had identified the qualified XRP holders, but they still hadn't revealed the details of the airdrop registration process, which they called the first step toward claiming the airdrop. Furthermore, as mentioned earlier, the registration process has been finished, requiring users to import or clone their XYPR address into XTAO and build a trust line for the average issuing address. Therefore, Ever has not disclosed its issuing address. The people behind these scams are planning to take advantage of the details given above to con unsuspecting customers. There has been a dramatic uptick in the number of scammers posing as X node support ever. These scammers pretend to be interested in helping XRP holders with the airdrop process. When thinking about this an X imposter posing as an Evernote help representative was exposed by Scott Chamberlain, co-founder of Evernote. There is no Evernote customer care on the digital platform X, according to Chamberlain. It was also mentioned that you wouldn't have to burn or move any XRP to get your hands on the Evers airdrop. It's all over today. Please like and subscribe my channel. See you later, bye.